He's currently the 39th pitcher being drafted, 163rd overall. And where he's being drafted in that back end of the top 30 range, where I think Velasquez can get to, I don't think he's that good of a pitcher. I think he's, you know, top more of a top 50 guy. Now, automatically, I have an affinity for Stroman as he hails from Long Island right here in New York, where I'm from. Uh, and yep. despite his insanely high ground ball ratios, he led the league in 2016. Uh, he failed to reach a 20% K rate. So while I love the type of pitcher he is, I just don't love him to take another step forward in improving upon what we saw in 2016. I'm also worried about him logging another 200 plus inning season as he's well below uh, six feet in stature. Uh, I mean, I just don't know that he physically can handle that kind of extreme workload. He threw 204 innings in 2016. Uh, I think he was a little unlucky with the ERA last year, but that could also be due to exposure from having pitched that many innings for the first time in his life. Now, again, I like him as a pitcher. I just don't love him. I, I also believe the Jays' mm -hmm. offense hasn't gotten any better, may even be a little worse this upcoming season. So I'm, I'm worried mm -hmm. about just what his ceiling could be. Now, I still say chalk him up for a dozen wins, and you got a solid pitcher, not an elite one. You know, um, I don't know that there's much room for upside with the exception being a slight, you know, improvement or bump to his ERA from last year. Now, this is somebody you have now turned the corner on in the opposite direction. So why am I wrong to have these doubts? All right. So Marcus Stroman is a guy that I'm typically very low on and somebody that I really haven't targeted in drafts. I did a little bit more research. I dug into the numbers a little bit more heavy than I had been. And I'm going to tell you, there were some really encouraging things. And the first thing that I saw, I'm going to credit fan graphs for this. They had an article on it. I dug in a little bit into the article and it actually uh, highlighted some changes that were made mid season within Strowman's arsenal and in terms of his approach and the pitches that he was throwing. First off, early in the season, he was very heavy in terms of his usage with the sinker. It was close to 60% in terms of, you know, what he was throwing. Around July, he made a slight tweak in um in his arsenal and his approach what he started to do is he started to throw the sinker less in lieu of the slider it jumped up almost 20 percent in terms of usage with the slider it has an elite ground ball rate in that pitch nearly 33 percent of the time um that he throws it he's he's generating a ground ball which is relatively elite uh you know in comparison to the fly balls he's getting from it um what happened over that period when he started to use the slider more his ERA, ERA went down by a full run from close to five to just under four. Uh, his K per nine jumped by two whole strikes per nine over that period. Uh, his infield fly ball rate went up five times when it was. It was about 2% in the first half. In the second half, it jumped up all the way to almost 10%, which is a great indicator of weak contact and getting under pitches. Um, and his swinging strike rate jumped to an above average uh, level as well. So there were a lot of things that I saw when Stroman stopped using the, sink, the sinker so much and started to focus more on throwing the slider. His numbers moved right along, and that's why he finished the season so strongly. The other thing I want to bring up on Stroman is, yeah, he's small in stature. I know he's listed at 5'9". He might even be smaller than that. He might be more like 5'6 or 5'7". This guy's like the Dustin Pedroia of pitchers. And I think too often we get uh, hung up on, on body stuff. Well, there's a lot of guys that are six foot six, six foot seven that have serious arm injuries and stay healthy. This guy put up a, a, an absolutely monster year in terms of you know innings pitched. He said he got to that 200 inning ratio, uh, 200 inning ceiling broke through it. Um, I think that's huge when it comes to any pitcher. Uh, you know, if the guy can do it once, that tells me he can probably do it again. Uh, I'm not too worried about the wear and tear because as the season went on, Stroman got stronger. So I really, as I dug into the numbers, I started to see some very positive trends with Stroman. How much of your optimism, though, lies in his age as, okay, he's still young enough to do this? If this was who he was, if this is what he is every year, which, again, it was good, uh, top 50 pitcher, just not a top 30 pitcher, not a top 40 pitcher, um, are you still excited if he's 29 years old putting up these numbers every year? Because yeah, then, we're, I mean, then we're talking about, you know, as you mentioned Chris Tillman before, then we're talking about a, a Chris Tillman type sure. that's going to be decent and be a top 50 guy. So how much of that is, you know, the excitement that you still have for Stroman built into his age and the fact that there might be another level? 
Yeah, I think it's 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 the weaker contact. It's not so much the age as much as it's an adjustment. And that's the thing that I look for with pitchers and with hitters. I know if, if you've been watching these series uh, over the off season, I talked about it last week with Rich Hill, who's in his mid thirties. He's a guy that figured something out. He made a change, and you know, going forward, the results you know um, happened because of that tweak that he made. And baseball is a game of tweaks. It doesn't matter if you're 24, 29, or 32. If you figure something out, you can get elite results for a few years out of it. And I think Stroman's tre- trending in the right direction. So his age doesn't come into it as much as I like the changes that he made, uh, especially you know with baseball when it comes to you know approach at the plate or or approach from a pitcher. Um, I think that's you know one of the biggest indicators of success. And I think Stroman made some the right tweaks.